Uh, this is Susan Sun Nanamaker with SunDistribution.net here at the Rochester Institute of Technology for American Solar Challenge 2012. And we here have the Michigan State University's uh, uh, car. Here we have both um, Dan, right? Dan and Miles. So uh, we'd like to learn a little bit about what they feel in terms of uh, their learning experience here at American Solar Challenge 2012. Oh, I, uh, I learned an enormous amount of things just throughout building this car and through this whole experience of traveling with other people and uh, just kind of getting along and we, had, we pretty much had to, we made so many adjustments to our car at the Formula Sun Grand Prix and just like it was like on the spot work and just, we learned a tremendous amount, especially from all the other people that offered to help us and just offered us advice on our next model and stuff like that, we just learned an enormous amount. Very good, and what specific experience or uh, adjustment you have to make in terms of the car? Uh, we got a lot of work to do, like on our whole frame and uh, like frame support and force deflection type deal. And uh, I don't know, we just, we need a new suspension design. We need new, I don't know, pretty much everything. New body, new. We're, we're gonna we're pretty much gonna start from scratch next year. Scratch next year, and uh, we got a lot of really good ideas from the other people around here. <coughs> other people around here and their cars. Very good. Well, what percentage of your members are new members? Um, is it more than half? Or less than half? Um, I actually only we only have one returning member at this race, so we're all new. Yeah. I joined what six yeah. months ago. There's two returning members. Only one showed up. One to the race. one came to the race, so we uh, truly learning experience. Truly, we only had seven people show up actually, mm -hmm. but um yeah I mean joining the team six months ago I had never seen a a solar car and <laughs> here I am designing one, hoping to get to that next level to compete with some of these other schools. But from this experience, I think the one thing I learned is it's not about finishing first. It's about being able to get to the point where you can extend your hand and help the other teams. We've had a few teams here take us in. We've even stayed with a couple of them this week. And uh, it's, really, it's really been a great experience to get to know some of the other teams and you know, see where we want to be in the future. We want to be one of those teams. Very, very good. And also, does either one of you, uh, let's say, be in, do you think you'll be interested in going to solar energy later on after you graduate? Absolutely. Uh, with the whole new electric vehicle emergence, being from uh, southeast Michigan in the Detroit area, I'd like to be a huge part of the, uh, the new impact of solar energy there. You know, recharge stations, any type of home commercial use. Um, any recharge station for these would be a great, great field to go into, and I, I kind of hope to do my graduate schooling studying this material. Very good, because uh, I believe Detroit does have a lot of project going on uh, as, as we're speaking. And uh, what about Miles? <laughs> yes, definitely. I would. Uh, that's one of the main reasons why I picked this uh, organization to uh, go with. Is uh, I'm very interested in alternative energy, mainly like solar energy and the direction it's going in. I think it has a, a very, very long future. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we look forward to also seeing you both in the future, uh, not just this year, but also in the future uh, American Solar Challenges. Well, thank you very much. really appreciate these few minutes. And signing off, Susan Zanonamaker with SunIsTheFuture.net here in Rochester, New York, the starting point of the American Solar Challenge 2012.